Jamie, you look so clever. Oh, what's here? Don't look. Welcome to the vlog. Do you think I look smart? I think that I'm one of these people, you know, glasses do do make people look more intellectual, don't they? I think I'm one of the few people that it makes me look stupid. <laughs> it's quarter past five on Monday evening. I've been sitting in this chair on the computer since nine o'clock this morning. I took a wee break to have a bowl of soup, but it was good. It was a good mammoth day on the computer that needed to happen. This week is really busy. Oh, I can't wait to go on holiday. I can't wait to go on a holiday one day. <laughs> I have glasses on, right? And I, I do need them for reading and being on the computer. And they just stopped me from getting headaches. I used to always get the same headache when I was in high school. And I went to the optician and they gave me a prescription. I can't remember what my prescription is. But one eye is worse than the other. I've also got an astigmatism. One of my eyes is round and the other one is football shape, like rugby ball shape. Fun fact. <laughs> but today's the first day that I've, I've had to be on the actual computer just all day. I was just doing emails, I was on the computer, I was on the laptop. And I kind of thought to myself, I need to wear my glasses because I've started getting the headaches again and I do not have a headache. And it's made me realise that I think I've had a headache every day for about a month apart from today. And because I don't have a headache, I feel more energised. Like I feel like I've had a whole day of work and I'm like, oh, I could do something. Two dogs, three cats, four biscuits. <laughs> you ready? Wait, wait. You know how to play this game, we've been playing it a lot. Wait, oh, jump smart. back. Get back. Hey, there's nothing there yet. Look, it's all in my hand. Look, sit. Dog, okay. sit down, son. Good sit. boy. Wait, Juno. Okay, let's do Juno first. Wait. Where is it, Juno? Got one. Drop it, not you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's a free for all. <laughs> Oh, drop, I got it! Drop, I got it! <laughs> She'll be able to smell it as well. Those <laughs> Wednesday my dudes. Ah. It's 10 o'clock at night and I'm just about to wash my face. I've not really got anything on my face but you need to wash your face at night. Anyway, I have here the Caudalie. So I talked about this in my skincare video and I think the one I was using, they don't sell anymore but this is pretty much the same thing. It's the Vino Clean. It's this one here, Vino Clean Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. I think it's the same thing, it's just been rebranded. My skin loves it. It's 10 o'clock, I'm feeling quite thrilled with myself because Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday were quite nuts this week, but I've just managed to get all my work done. It feels great. It feels so good. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday were all Vive days for me. I am so excited about what's coming. I wanted to share this because it's really interesting. I was listening to a podcast. The person in the podcast, I cannot remember what one it was. I can't remember even if it was a podcast or not. But basically they were saying that when you create something like a brand or something quite big that you put everything into and it goes out, when it's done, you're left feeling quite empty because you put you're all into something and then it's out there and then it's out there. So you don't get that feeling of accomplishment straight away. And it's something that I was kind of upset about because I was like, why did I not feel the way that I thought I'd feel? I thought I would just be elated and excited and pumped to do more, but actually I was tired and I was stressed. <laughs> the same person that was saying that was saying, when you put your all into something after it's out there, you will feel empty and it's really important to recharge and the sense of accomplishment and what you've done will come when you least expect it. And I think I got it today. <laughs> I was just looking, I was writing two interviews that I had to do. Both of them were kind of pinch me moments, I suppose, and we're working on the next launch in February and I just got so excited again and it's made me so happy because that's literally been two and a half months since we launched. I had this proper feeling of just excitement, the hugest like gratitude to everyone that supported Weave. What a dream come true, can you believe it? It's just the most amazing thing. It's just something that I'm so so proud of. Yeah, I just can't believe it. But I thought I would share that, that's why I'm feeling so excited. Let's go and do the rest of our skincare.
But yeah, I just wanted to share that because I don't think I really spoke about it after launch. But on see see the week after launch, I was so overwhelmed and just terrified. I was so terrified. It wasn't how I expected that I would feel. So it took me by surprise. It threw me right off. I mean, it was before today. I, I felt so excited and proud before now. But today I really feel like, I don't know, I've just got my balance of things. One of the interviews that I just wrote, it asked the question, um, what's something that you've learned by starting a business and, and being a founder? It's something that took me by surprise, but I hate making mistakes. And I hate the idea of things not being perfect. And it is so inevitable that you will make mistakes and it's actually really important that you make mistakes because how else do you grow and you learn from that and I guess I just wanted to say that in case anyone feels the same as me if you're terrified of making mistakes I think knowing that they will happen and that you can always fix everything you can always fix things you can always change things that is so important to me and I'm so glad I got my hair drowned it otherwise I would be <laughs> just I think panicked at all times but things have shaped up really really well something as well that we didn't really expect to be dealing with I suppose was the pandemic um, we had to really change the way that we work uh, especially for this shoot but again it's something that I'm really excited about now instead of being scared and stressed out it's just all good things I suppose learning how to get on with things in the face of adversity if you're wondering what products I'm using, it's just all the same from my skincare video. Oh, apart from, I have a new eye cream. I'm not great at using eye cream, but I have seen a few of my favourite people raving about this. It's the Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream, and I've been using it day and night. Looks quite good. Do you know what I like about it? It's really thick and moisturising, and it almost looks like an oil. I know you're meant to put your eye cream on first, but I forgot. But it feels really, really nice and nice to get everything done. We had really good meetings with the team today. Usually on Tuesdays, we, we go through the social plan for Vive, uh, but we did that today, so it's great. And basically it means that I can see all the social content that's going out for a whole week on Vive. We've got it all planned out and all everything written out and ready to go. At the end of this week, it's getting exciting. So keep an eye out on the Vive Instagram which is at the Muse. <laughs> it's really funny as well. See, obviously Instagram, we couldn't get the handle Vive, uh, so we took Vive Muse, which is our hashtag, which people can use, that we see their work and we can share it on our social feeds and things like that. It's just a way that you can show that you're part of our community. You just use the hashtag and I see it all. I follow the hashtag, so I see everything. But I know that some people think that the brand's called Vive Muse. Just in case you're wondering, it's just Vive. Oh God, do you know what? I am so sore from doing my yoga with Adrian, She sneakily makes you do a plank and you can't tell until the next day and you're hurting, my, like here hurts, like my armpits, uh, from holding my body weight off the ground. So doing my yoga in the mornings and then my journal day and night. By the way, if you saw last week's vlog, I got it hugely wrong. Here is the journal, this is a random day, but see where it says 20, you just add the date, you add 21 so it's 2021 i was convinced that i had bought a 2020 diary but i have not and i have done how many days have i done in a row four five six seven eight nine this is my 10th day doing this i think that's quite good i feel like i'm getting in the habit of doing it it's just such a nice way to start your day and end your day my quote today says surround yourself with people that inspire you and you will not only grow you will soar how nice is that Morning. We had a nice early start, didn't we? Yeah, earlier the better. Earlier the better. My desired early morning starts yeah. are starting to happen. It's really fun having so much time in the morning for myself. Filmed this morning, Jack's gonna edit. We are going for our food shop. I feel like that is one of the only things that we can vlog because that's the only thing that we leave the house for. But today I actually managed to get emergency chiropractic appointment. She's meant to be brilliant. I'll let you know more once I've been and I can like suss it out. But I was recommended this uh, chiropractor to help me deal with my alignment. I think I've moaned on here before. I've, I've mentioned that I get pain in my shoulder and it feels like it travels down pretty much the whole right side of my body. So sometimes it's in my hip and my bum. Sometimes it goes down my leg. Sometimes it comes up into my shoulder and then into my head and that's when I get headaches. And the reason that I've decided that I need to do something about it is because the way that I feel and the way that I am 
when I'm sore is not fun. Like I don't feel like myself, I feel like I'm sore, I feel like I'm grumpy. It's like a lion, what's that phrase? It's like a lion with a thorn in his paw. I feel like that. And I only realized after I started helping myself a little bit, you know, I was working upstairs on my computer, which is higher up instead of being hunched over my laptop. I've started doing my yoga again, which has hugely helped. And in turn, that has made me feel better, which has made my headaches go away, which has made me feel like myself again. So I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to keep myself healthy and happy. So I managed to get an appointment. She is still open through tier four i think which is what we're in i just wanted to mention that in case anyone thinks i'm willy-nilly just booking appointments but i'm really excited i've been looking forward to this for just over a week so it feels like a good day i got all my work done yesterday for vave filmed this morning i really love the way that my makeup turned out i think this is my favorite like base makeup i've maybe ever done and yeah we're gonna do a food shop okay. this is my favorite time of the week Get out of my fucking food. <laughs> what are we getting this week grapefruits how many I get five. Five of. And then that lasts me ten days. Ten days. Jack. Do you have one a day? No, half. Do you have half a day? Yeah. Cool. Look for the ripe ones. Jack, get one. <laughs> Is it? Yes! The last one. The last jelly bigum. Ham and leek pie. What red wine you want to get? Chateau Neuf de Paps the celebration wine. That's the one we get for celebrations. It's really good. I'm going to celebrate my ass. I'm going to get for celebration. What one do you want to get tonight? Well, I've had a few of these. I kind of feel like a Malbec moment. Yeah, I'm happy with Malbec. Go for it. <laughs> Go back to the show. <laughs> what one are we opting for? Oh, the one Reserve I was looking at. Reserve de Mistral. Reserve de Mistral. Oh, God. <laughs> Reserve de Mistral. Okay. Nice. Huh? See if you can get that camera out. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Wow, makeup's intact. Yeah, we got some car snacks. There's nothing better than a deli counter. Mmm. -mm. Mm. Is it good one? Yum. Oh, that's a tasty chicken patty. Yep, we did great. Samosa. Thanks. Mmm. I'm on hold. My phone is broken. Look at this. Oh god, it doesn't even look that bad. But basically, my screen is all smashed at the top and it's getting worse, so I need to get it fixed. So I'm phoning Apple to see what they can do. I think, Jack, you were saying that they'll send me a phone out. So there's a chance that they'll just send me a new phone and I'll give this one back. That is the sound of me on hold to Sky now. Today is a day for customer service, it would appear. I've been on hold for 14 minutes. Our Skybox has kicked the bucket. We've not got any internet apart from our phones. So I'm going to try and hotspot I've got a video to upload, but we need a new Skybox. So I'm playing my Nintendo while I wait. Apple, I have to phone back tomorrow because they forgot to put Apple Care on my account or something. You know, these things happen, don't they? It all happens at once. Phone broke, internet broke, Jack's car was broke this week. <laughs> what a nightmare. Although Jack's car is fixed now. The garage he goes to uh, were brilliant and the guy fixed it, so Jack's actually happy. So hope those th things come in threes, don't they? I am just really happy that our internet was working this morning because I was filming with GHD and it was like a like a Zoom call almost that they were filming. It was really cool though, they had like a, like a TV studio that I was like patched through to. So I'm just so glad that our internet worked for that because otherwise I would have been screwed. Hopefully I get through soon and they just send out another box. That's all we need. You know, it's such a shame, but they obviously get taught to go through all the motions with the customers to make sure that, you know, that they've not just not plugged, plugged the thing in right or whatever. But like we've done everything to try and fix it and I've looked it up and it's the way that the box is acting, the light that's on means that there's a power supply issue, which means we need a new box. I'm just going to have to explain all this over the phone and I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Again, I'm really glad it's Friday afternoon and we did all our meetings at the start of the week. I'm so glad that we had internet for that. <laughs> Come here. Look at this sweet dog. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> 
that went really well. Let this be your sign. If you are a homeowner or you rent or you've just got bills that come out your account, make sure that you upgrade them mm -hmm. and you renew your contracts because you'll end up pissing away money. The guy on the phone there, he was so helpful. He's, they're sending us out a new box. If you have a contract with Sky, for example, that who that's who we're with, we've had our contract with Sky for three and a half years. It kind of, it technically ran out after two years. So the benchmark for your speeds that they say at the start, so you know how they say, oh, you'll get so-and-so download speed and so-and-so upload speed. Those are like the benchmarks. See, as soon as you're out of contract, the priority to make those, <laughs> to make your internet connection reach those benchmarks goes away. So you said you've been on a slower internet because you didn't renew your contract. I was like, brilliant. Never thought about that. In the three and a half years that we've had our contract, they've like improved their service, but because we've not had a new contract, we have not seen the benefits of that improved service. <laughs> anyway, we technically don't have internet for two days though because we need the the new hub box thing. My wee smashed phone. Uh, I need to phone Apple tomorrow and they'll organize sending me a replacement. What a bloody week for technology. It's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> My chiropractor appointment was really good. The pain that I've been complaining about uh, is exactly what's like what's wrong with me. She said that I have an old injury and basically it's this shoulder was sitting about four centimeters higher than this shoulder. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm like the hunchback and watch that. And she was feeling the top here. Whoa, that's still so much better. She was feeling the top here and she was like, do you feel that this side's really spongy and soft and this side's hard? I said, yeah, and she said, that's a rib uh, up in your shoulder. That's a bone. And I was like, oh, that's not great, is it? And then one of my hips had locked and had trapped a nerve, but she did the thing. She clicked me, she clicked my neck both ways, both my shoulders she put back and then this hip and she actually did the other hip as well, I think that's just to keep you balanced. And then last night I did not feel well, I felt a bit like, like just a bit whitey, um, but then this morning I woke up, don't have a headache. I don't want to say it's pure cured me or anything like that because there, she said that there's things that I need to do, uh, like I'm, I need to ice my back because she says that when you're sore it's inflammation which needs to be iced whereas i would usually use like a hot water bottle which makes it worse but i don't really want to put something cold on me i'm freezing all the time anyway anyway i need to do that but i'm going to go back and see if what she's done has worked as a result for me being a bit wonky she drew on a diagram like where I was sitting wrong and it was my pelvis was twisted and facing slightly up the way and my shoulders was like that because of that, one of my legs is shorter than the other. <laughs> but by the time that we'd done all the adjustments, my legs were the same length. I have like one really strong bum cheek and one side of my back's really strong from like holding my body in that not like straight position. And actually I'm sitting really poorly. She showed like me what the, what the spine's meant to be like and it's like an S shape. And I was like, is that normal? She's like, yes. And then she says, but then people turn into big bananas. And look, this is the way I sit. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. <laughs> so I'm trying to sit up straight, but then I think it makes my boobs stick out and I hate it. <laughs> anyway, I'm working on it. Saturday. I bit my cheek last night when I was eating my dinner. I was too excited about it. We had duck wraps with like hoisin sauce and cucumber and I pure bit my cheek, it was really sore. It is 20 past 12, which is actually quite good. I feel like we've done quite a lot already. We got up, had breakfast, I got ready, I did a makeup look, I changed my makeup look. I found some hair. Uh, it's looking a bit ratty now, but it was good. It was good fun. Jack just made us lunch. We are absolutely obsessed with the frozen Itsu product, the food. So we just had it all flash up on the screen because we ate it without showing you. But they've got these um, bao buns that are like hoisin duck. And then they have the chicken gyozas, which honestly are so good. If you like Japanese food, it's such a nice thing to just have in the freezer because it's like a fast snack. And yeah, it's delish. It's another gorgeous day. I think we're going to go and take the dogs a W. I say W because I don't want to say the full word because they're standing right next to me. And I thought I would show you a little bit of the progress we've made with packing. Let's go. Oh, first and foremost, this loungewear set. 
I bought from in the style. It's uh, Lorna Luxe's. I think it's like a really popular set because it keeps on going out of stock, but it came back in stock and I, and I bought it. Before you buy anything from in the style, Google and see if they've got a discount code because I bought it before I realised there was a 40% off discount code and I was like, ah, stupid. But it's really, really nice. Uh, one thing I would say is it fits quite uh, baggy. I don't know whether it's oversized or if just the sizing. It, it's like I've got a size 12 on and I'm usually a size 12, but if I show you, they, fall, they do fall down. I, like, I think I could have got away with a, a size 10, but uh, it's really, really comfy. I actually wore it yesterday, which you'll have seen, uh, and then I slept in it and I've still got it on, so I'm gonna get changed later. But what we've started doing is just clearing areas. So this little corner's empty. We have emptied all the shelves mostly. There's a couple of things there. All these shelves are empty. And what took us the longest was actually emptying stuff like this. Like this big unit's ready just to get moved now. There's nothing in the cabinets and we gave everything a good clean, which we'll have to do again uh, before we actually move. But we just want to make sure that we're taking our time to pack everything, kind of declutter at the same time and, and totally make the house spotless for the next people that are gonna live here. And over here, you will see the boxes. We got some bubble wrap just because we needed it. We've got super delicate things bubble wrapped um, and it's actually great because all this stuff I'm going to give it to my family when they're moving because I think they're next on the list. And it's just full of like weird stuff, like that's photo frames and like stuff that we want to keep. But that's like stuff to set the table. We've got quite a lot of ornaments, it would appear. Like what's in there, DVDs. Like it's just, it's crazy how much stuff you end up having. We've got a lot of like booze in here that we've not drank that we want to take with us for in case we're ever entertaining. So this room I would say is done. It's just the big stuff that's left, which we, we can be, pretty much leave. Like that plant, these two plants are actually Actually fake which I'm sure that they'll they'll find a good home in the new house and like in here any kind of ornaments we've taken away and wrapped up it really doesn't look like we've done that much <laughs> I go in this cupboard this used to be absolutely stowed full but now we've got like a clear idea of what we need to eat through in here is super minimal this is just like our bowls and plates and stuff loads of this stuff's actually cracked so we'll use it up until we move and then we'll have then we'll be chucking it in the bin and we used to have that we used to be full of glasses and what we've done is kept our most favorites we've cleaned them we've packed them and then this is what we're living with at the moment and then another room that we've made good progress on but it took so long it was the office upstairs i'm not going to show you it because it's still a mess we're still working through it it's just um like going through all the paperwork i've started writing a list of all the things that i need to change over like council tax gas electricity <laughs> internet this is a good test there's like so many places that we'll need to phone round everywhere and change your address we'll need to change your address for our driver's licenses and get new driver's license again it's like stuff that you really once you've moved you, you completely forget about it because it's annoying and it's quite it can be a wee bit stressful trying to remember to get all that stuff done but we're just so excited we had some good news this week regarding paperwork a big important part that needed to go through went through and we're just waiting on the legal documents going back and forth to arrange uh, the date that we're moving. And as soon as we've got that, it will be easy because we'll have a date to work towards. We'll know that we need to be like sorted and ready to go by that date. Because at the moment, it's like a rough date. Uh, but yeah, that's all we're waiting for. Super exciting. I think I'm gonna make a really good plan because I, it's with the move and being busy with the move, I need to be a wee bit more organized with work. So I think what I'm gonna do is write a plan, get my work done ahead of time as much as I can, and then I'm gonna pack my makeup room and that's definitely gonna be something that I'll be able to film, which you'll be happy about. I really want to go through my clothes, declutter, finesse. I've been all about buying staple pieces that I can mix and match. I mean, I don't really know what the flipping point is in buying clothes right now, apart from comfortable stuff, because we're not going anywhere. But I would love for when we get out of lockdown for me to be able to look at my wardrobe and be like, right, okay, perfect. Also, in the new house, 
my plan is my makeup room is going to be my makeup room but it's also going to have wardrobes in it for like my nicest clothes if that makes sense so like my, my suits that I love dresses that I love more kind of event wear and like if I was going on a trip or if I was going for a meeting or if I was I don't know going down to London for filming for something then I would go to that wardrobe with my like my fancy clothes like no <laughs> the right word but like see my like my nice dress clothes and then what I'm gonna do is in our bedroom I'm gonna put a big chest of drawers uh like bigger than what we've what I've got in there just so I've got a wee bit more space and that's gonna have like all my gym clothes not that I need those at the moment gym clothes like underwear pajamas t-shirts leggings sweat clothes sweat clothes is that the right word like comfy clothes so basically like if I'm just bumming about the house and I want to get dressed but I don't really care about really what I look like and my jeans and stuff will be in there so that'll be like my daily wardrobe and then if I want to feel a little bit fancy then I'll go into my wardrobes which will be my makeup room so it's going to be so great and I would love to organise before we do that move. And I know a lot of you guys are similar to me with the way that you like to dress and you know it's it's not exactly out there or outlandish but it's like comfy and chic I would like to say. So that's on the plan as well. Hopefully next week we'll be given our date for moving. <laughs> See you next week. Why am I so pink? What? Yeah, I'm pink too. What? It makes me feel 1717. 17. I love oil. I love oil. We're out of the shop. You've not even seen Frozen. It's not frozen. It is frozen. Can yes. everyone please tell Jack that that is the frozen it's not song? Frozen. It might you heard similar, it? No, I, you, you. I coined it. I coined that tune. No. <laughs> we have a wee cuddle. You guys are so cute. Make sure you. Do you get your butt in my face, please? I can see you, but I won't. I can hear you, but I won't. <laughs>